Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Post Matrix here, at your service. And welcome back to MDK2, where, well, this time we're just starting in the middle of the mission, so that we don't have to deal with, uh, yeah, OBS screwing up and losing contact with things. And, yeah, last time we got to Max's third level, who is now also on Swizzle Firma, which I'm not sure if that should be uh, just counted as a hilarious oops, as a hilarious uh, planet name or maybe a somewhat cool one after all uh, let's see okay what we have to do with Max here now uh, oops, is that we have to take out some things at the top of this chamber which is actually that's the this is one going down, not one of the ones that we need. We need one of the those colored ones. <laughs> Wait, Here. this one is actually just going... Really? We didn't have to jump down for this? Uh, yeah, these... Some of these rooms are just so freaking big that you just can't help but miss stuff like that. Also, who the... F who is... You are. Okay. Yeah, I, I suspect the reason this room is so big is just... For the sake of the flying enemies. Yeah, they give them plenty of room, though they have they have been popping up in smaller rooms as well. Um yeah, either way. We might be able to finish the game in this stream, depending on how long the rest of this level is, and uh yeah, Dr. Hawkins' next level as well. Because after this game, I believe it only has 10 levels, 10 really big levels. But really, you want us to jump to in that little window? Okay. Let's empty these out. And, well, <laughs> equip the fun guns. So, I'm already right. concerned. What is that noise that I'm hearing? It sounds like one of the farters. It's not a farter, it's so... It sounds, it sounds a bit like glass breaking as well. But, oh, come the fuck, come the fuck on, game. Really, just just spawns right, literally on top of us. <laughs> come on. I oh. think I know what the sound was. It's still there in the distance. I think it's the machine you were next to, the big thing over your head. Could be. What that thing actually is, we don't really know. It, it is probably linked to that ultimate doomsday device because, well, it has pictures of Earth on it. Uh, pictures of Earth blowing up, so yeah, we want to get rid of... I think that's why we actually want to destroy this thing as well. Other than, well, it's <laughs> it belongs to the aliens, so we of course want to destroy it. For any reason that we can find. Okay, uh, there's the red one again. Let's hope that this time one doesn't spawn literally on top of us. That, th that is a bit of an oversight, I'd say. The, the enemy spawn point, there we go, is right in the path of this thing. Okay, now this is going to bring us close enough to this one to shoot it. Can we try and sneak it on one of the others? Yes, we can. That's two down. And can we... The pipe is in the way. And now it's out of range, I think. Oh, well. We've at least shortened this a bit. Again. Uh, well, this time it didn't spawn on top of us. It was just in the bloody way. Again, that sound... Is the loudest here? Is there maybe something on top of this thing that we overlooked? Also, where maybe? is the green elevator? Or platform? There it is. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there's something hidden on top of this thing. Hmm. 
Now even still, the, the sound is coming very low from the left side of it. Either way, rip. down she goes. Okay. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, there is still a bit in this game level that is going to take quite a while. And, yeah, a bit of forced fall damage. Oop, over there. And... Do we have to get in? Let me do a quick save. Yeah, we're supposed to go into that thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the meantime, Max is going to look for the core of the Death Star. <laughs> maybe he can find a, maybe he can get some help from the Emperor. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, moving on. I know, I remember a bit with a big ass pyramid in this game. Uh, in at least in which should be in this level, unless Max has a fourth level. The, yeah, and the kick ass music picking a pick us yeah, picks up again. Blech. The end language again. It's the menu music. <laughs> yeah. I believe most. <laughs> uh, I think most call it the, the main theme of the game. Also, hello. Okay, for it. Uh, as a kid, I heard that I got worried. Wait, did it crash to the menu? <laughs> <laughs> no. It, this, this music has actually come up a few other times, I think. Mm, true, then, then I guess, me, me, again, we have been having problems with this game. Yeah, nothing too big, well, nothing not to the point that it would actually it was actually completely breaking the game, it was just breaking OBS's interaction with it, and hello. Oh, it's a dropship this time. It looks like a horseshoe crab. I maybe should have gotten a few more Gatling guns from the previous bit. <laughs> Can we... S no, we can't destroy this thing. We can destroy this, though. There's a lot of them on board. <laughs> is that the last? Nope. But it is flying... Hello. Anyone else on board? Yep. That looks important. It, I'm guessing it was because I... Yeah, Max is going to so crash this stuff thing. Or... No, he's just going to blow open the gate. <laughs> that also works. Okay. So I think I'm not sure if it's ever mentioned or something. Maybe not even in the manual. But I'm guessing that all of these guns are actually coming from the Jim Dandy. That uh, the Doc just has some sort of program running to teleport you know, weapons to Max. But he has mentioned that he he bring weapons over or something at the beginning of the game. Yeah, we, he was dropping in stuff or something. I think he also did that in the first MDK, but then he was just parachuting stuff in because that was still on Earth. And here's yeah. the not really not really a pyramid, but it's still big ass, and we get an atomic jetpack, uh -oh. which re refills on its own. Uh, okay, that's practical, and I guess the whole thing he said in the beginning of the game is a way to explain why we find all these uh, car batteries and weapons. Yeah. Is this a nice detail? For some games, it used to be confusing to find uh, weapons that should not be there. Oh, great. Like you find uh, loads of human weapons on an alien spaceship that never encountered humans or interacted with any of their, their, their stuff. Yeah. And so then, then it just feels weird. Okay, it even recharges mi in midair. I actually didn't know or remember that, and we get a ray gun. Okay. We never got to test these guided missiles out before. <laughs> but yeah, this big-ass spire is one big-ass 
platforming challenge, so uh, you would absolutely hate it here. Yeah. Uh, there, there's been a lot of things in this game I would hate. Let's see, that's another ray gun. Uh, let's empty out these two. Make way for more uh, for field guns. I don't think I've ever... Got some probes. I don't think I've ever used these ray guns or something because... Well, the, you've got Gatling guns, of course you're going to shoot those first. <laughs> okay. I'll be quick saving a lot, because, well, if we fall down, we have to get all the way back up again, and there's no checkpoints or anything, except for the ones we put down ourselves. Here's where we need to be. Wait, did, did we go up the wrong side or something? Either way, we're heading up. Hopefully this won't take too long. Hmm. I really don't know if I've ever given up you gone up gone up this side. I I always th thought there was only one way to go in here. Uh, it looks might like the looks like I might be wrong on that. Either way, we're transitioning to the next stage of this thing. Which is where we have to go from these. I think. Or... Oh, we can go up to those. I'm guessing... Or there's, is that one lower or is that just because of the distance that it looks lower? I'm sure... No, that now just shows that you get pixelated for that moment when I try to look. There we go. Get a bit more stable Quick again. There. Oh, come on. Really? I guess I should have expected that from it being different from the others. And at the very least, this thing can just keep us in the air. Not infinitely, because it, it is going down. There we go. So, is this a fuel issue and more overheating? Um, I guess it could be an overheat thing or something that it that would make more sense than infinitely resupplying you know, in power. Okay, anywhere we can land. Can we actually stand on this? No, we cannot. Then where are we supposed to go from here? I'm guessing just ne to the next platform until we get to a higher one. And I can hear another probe shooting us, and there's another one up front. Of course, and... Oh, bloody heck. Be right back. And he couldn't go through him again, apparently. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've been drinking too much or something. And in the meantime, I hope I can... Keep, well, not fall down this stupid thing. Okay. I'm pretty sure when I originally played this game, I didn't know about the quick save and quick load up buttons, so, uh, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I had to go quite a few times up and down this stupid thing. Ah, there we go. There's our higher platform. Hmm. No clue what that's supposed to depict. Okay, up to the next level. Yeah. Is this supposed to? Okay. I knew some of them might bend down or something from my memory, but hmm, I don't know if they're actually required to do this or not. Hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm guessing we are because those p temporary platforms aren't moving. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, this is going to be tricky to get back up there again then. Okay, quick save. And yeah, let's head for that one. Straight towards. It's enough altitude and then we should be able to just tap our way towards it. Yeah, we've got this, we've got this, okay. And that starts going down and we head to the next... Yeah, we don't have enough altitude for this. Ooh, this could be tricky then. Especially with how much those things lower down. Can we get to the next one from this? Come on, come on, come on, come on, don't run out. <laughs> Just barely. Fully recharged. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, let's do a quick load. Hmm, I guess that... I guess it might be a thing that you could soft lock yourself on here. If you just can't reach any more of these damn antennas, whatever they'd be called. Okay. Plenty of altitude. Just need to touch and go on this. Okay. Plenty of altitude. And then we just start tapping. Okay, we're make we're we can make it this way. Okay. altitude. Our momentum carries up us up a bit higher than we need to be, so we can lose some altitude in just getting distance. Yeah, this is this is working plenty. Hmm. And I don't really remember what's after this. I think we might have a, another boss fight right after this area. Because I do not remember anything at all in between this and the boss. Okay, good progress. No clue of how many of these pylons we still need to do. I really have no idea what they should be officially called. <laughs> pylons, antennas. Uh, Let's just go with platforms. Also, the atomic jetpack just looks like two buckets painted yellow. And this should be the last one then. Right next to where the well, retracting platforms should start. Or are starting. So, that turned out well for us. Yep, there they go. Now they're active. Now we can continue on yet further on. But I need to find some solid ground to quick save. It's going to be that tiny little thing up there, isn't it? Okay, almost. And there we go. Solid ground, another quick save. Okay. We're actually <laughs> we're actually almost at the top of this thing. Just look at the size of this. And I'm pretty sure this game was released in the freaking Dreamcast. So uh, yeah, quite a bit of <laughs> quite a bit of a miracle if that they managed to get this running on the Dreamcast, if that is correct. Okay, it just opens on its own. Hmm. If this is leading directly to the boss, then I'm going to pause until Drakia returns, because I do not want him to miss out and stuff.
Back to this music. And... Is this? No, this is not. This is... Whatever the hell this is. Is there... There's low gravity in here. Okay. Oh, and there's... Those floaty boys. <laughs> floaty boys. Those guys again. Okay, we can destroy these. Is that going to, yep, so that's going to make a safe haven for us. Uh, let's go with these. I, I don't think I knew or figured out that you could destroy these pillars. So I think... <laughs> When I originally played through this game, I probably just tried. I probably just flew through this, or attempted to fly through this in one go. Just uh, doing going like this. I don't even know what you would call this. Just uh, burst flying or whatever. Okay, I can see the other end of the chamber. Again, a big freaking room. Hmm. Can we not destroy this one? I get the feeling things are not going to be well for us if we... Well, end up at the bottom here. Yeah. <laughs> Instantly electrocuted. And Max just goes for a T-pose nap. Okay, now that that is known, we're going to have to make more pit stops. This sort of reminds me a bit from something from Crisis 1. Hmm. <laughs> this place is freaking big, big enough for those spider crafts to be here. Uh. I think I, I think I'll probably stream Crisis at one point or another. We streamed Crisis Three at the very least. I know. Um, I'm not sure if we streamed Crisis Two though. I know we did three, but two I don't know. With two I got really freaking annoyed with it because at the time the my. Yeah, the minimum requirements for it were above what my computer could do. So I was really annoyed about that. And hello, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. How long, how long was I away? Uh, not too long. Why? Was I away for 10 minutes? Uh, long enough to miss the rest of the tower. Though I didn't have too much trouble with it, especially with quick saves. There's a bunch of these guys here. <laughs> I didn't much miss too much there, I guess. Yeah, nothing critical, at least. Yeah, and but it, it, the towers looked like something there was not much to commentate on, even. Yeah. We're just climbing up and up and up and up and up and trying not to fall down. Yeah, okay, yeah, that probably was a good idea then to go to the bathroom. Okay, you two are just taking pot shots from above. Uh, yeah, we're just crossing oh, a big no. ass room. Thank you for the mental image. <laughs> yeah, we're just crossing this ba place in lowered gravity. And yeah, again, just this freaking size of this place. Only. But it is a spaceship, it kind of makes sense to. Yeah, it's not a spaceship, it's just not the freaking cap, their freaking capital. Oh, okay, then this. Then why have they built it like this is a good question then. Wait. And I think we're more oh. in the power systems than any anywhere they were supposed to get. Most likely. And also, for those curious, Hayda made me imagine them sh uh, uh, wheeling cannons and shooting pots at him. <laughs> but you did say pot shots. I wouldn't be surprised at all if there is a parody game somewhere out there that, where you have a gun that fires pot pottery at people. <laughs> Or that, or a movie, or a comic book, or online comics. 
At the very least, someone should have had that idea at one point or another and gotten it into something. Yeah, the... the wait, ain't that... Wait, hold on, hold on. Ain't it technically pot shots that you have that device that hurls clay pigeons to shoot? I don't think so, and that sounds like boss music. So we're approaching the boss fight, I think. Oh dear. And just so that we have tried them out. Missiles and lasers and just a trusty pipe pistol. Uh, he did take quite a beating. He was in a car crash. Well, well, Swizzle is just crawling with vermin's Him. Fine dog coming from planet crashers like you. We have a saying here on Swizzle from, uh, too little, too late. Not if I can help it. The device is already set. Your Earth will be a smoking cinder. What are you gonna do about that, Fleabag? Well, how about I do the other leg, for starters? You will need a guy in a wheelchair, would ya? Yes, we will. <laughs> well, yeah, we're fighting Srang again. Well, it's not a wheelchair. I would, I would call that a... Uh, overshare? <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, you can still uh, shoot at it. it was, those shots actually landed on his cast. Oh dear. I, uh, actually, I did not recognize it when I had first. I, I was wondering, is that the Emperor? No. Then I realized when he spoke at O. Oh, uh, well, when he spoke, I saw his face then properly and I realized, oh, that's Swing Swang. Yeah, the missiles aren't actually that useful since they don't get free slowly. Uh, I do wonder. Hmm. Is it, would a. Uh, okay, for simplicity, let's call it a Hoover share or levitating share. Would that be practical? <laughs> he, he kicked us into the fucking ceiling! <laughs> Motherfucker. Did you just get obelix punched? Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. Right. I was trying to say is. Would a share like that, in theory, be practical for, well, anyone needing, a, a, that they usually needs a wheelchair? Uh, well, it would keep them from getting bumped around, and, oh, and we ran out of, <laughs> he, he kicked us again. Yeah, yeah, I guess it would be practical since, it, but I, I have had people in wheelchairs roll about before, friends, two even. And I, yeah. I noticed that, that they themselves, and even myself, when I try to help them, could some kind of struggle with some, uh, uh, oh God, I don't ledges. know what it's called in English, but yeah, like a stone ledge uh, on a street and such, like uh, you walk on the street and you need to dig it on top of the ledge. It might not always be easy. You will need a guy in a wheelchair, would ya? So I guess a overshare would remove that problem? Yeah. The, the only problem I would see with a levitating chair like this will be um, when the power runs out. Yeah. Okay. These are these are actually traps around this thing that we can activate to well turn on him. Uh, that's a big drill. He just needs to be in front of it. And yeah, we have a time limit. Up oh, there we go again. But what? Why is? Why is the massive drills in here? The uh, defense mechanism uh, for his place or something. Yep. Well, as they are not drills, and I just realized that's just a missile. Yep. That is the ultimate doomsday device that they make. <laughs> yep, that they made. Oh, car battery. We're saving that for when we need more health. For now, he's moving over here. So, uh. Yeah, that takes quite Maybe a bit out of his health. Store? Wait, wait, we weren't even in construction. Reach. Are these construction arms? Maybe. Uh, 
Let's equip this one. Oh, it looks like they're one-time use only. Or something. Do they need to... Time to recharge or something? Anyway, let's try and keep up the pressure. Because we are on a time limit. Oh, come on. He seems to have a lot more reach than he looks. Where? There you are. Okay. Time for your dentist appointment. Or not. He's <laughs> priced in between those. Okay, 30 seconds to go. Yep. Again, kicked into the ceiling. It, it, this feels so mean. But at the same um, time, wh why is he trying to fight us when he's in a wheelchair? Uh, levitation chair? No, because it is. It, he has orders to fight us. But I already don't like the Emperor. It makes a... Someone wounded as him to guard and fight. Okay, but and we're going to lose this because the timer is up. Oh no. That's a weird missile. I'm not sure if I've ever seen this before or not. Oh yeah, the trick is going to be to set off the devices on him. Oh. Okay, not even a show of the, the planet blowing up? Okay. Uh, where is he? You'd think... So there he is. You'd think something that big would be easy to spot. Yeah, uh, actually, I can see how we can fight. Like, he still had one good lucky kick about them. Yeah, and his arms. Yeah. And just look at Sam. Like you know, the Emperor will expect him to just step on him, but no, that is probably a mistake the oh, Emperor did. Him just outright cruel. Well, he was cruel enough to start a freaking invasion of another planet. Yeah, dentist appointment. Gotta keep enough distance that he can't actually punch us around. I say that and immediately he does. Okay, we've lost one minute, but we've got about 40... 40% uh, of his health gone. He's going to move. Yep. Okay. Time to put a squeeze on him. Yeah, that looks to be taking about a quarter of its health. Of his health. Maybe a bit early on that one, but I will. It, just the way he's going around, he's trying to swim with that thing in it. Hello! The next... Yeah, we, we've got this. Yes. Gotta hope that this... Oh, no, this... That's one already been used. Okay, so we are... They are one use only? Yep, we can still just keep shooting him. That will take care of it. <laughs> and only the shades remain. <laughs> I thought we fi Hmm, let me check. It is the loading that is setting it off for some reason. Uh, let's go with full screen capture. That worked last time, actually, on things. Uh, we will... We will have to fight him again. And pray this does not happen again. <laughs> so that is a bit of a screenshot there. Huh? Wait, do you take a screenshot? Nope. 
There we go. Well, then you missed your chance. Yeah, your head would have been in the way of it anyways. What? Yeah, I... I could have... The way I only... I, the game wasn't frozen on that screen or something. It was still continuing on my end, so the only way I could have gotten that was to take a screenshot... Uh, uh, a screenshot from... Of, yeah, of the monitor. Okay. Okay, so you see my head doing something else. Maybe. Rarv. Is he throwing something instead or because he, we were far out of his reach there? Okay. The, uh, wait, you said it was still player on your end. Didn't you think the last time we just went in and out of the game? Uh, we also did that by swapping around between the uh, full screen capture and game capture. Hmm. Also, stop yes. making that sound. It sounds like you make it sound like you enjoy it, Swang. Uh, oh, you meant him. I was wondering what the heck are you, are you talking about here for a moment? But there yeah, is. I, 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 I hope uh, the other games we'll be streaming that are old will be more cooperative. And there we go again. There it is time I will take a screenshot. There we go, one print screen. I should look up. There we go. Shut this thing down. Fifteen collectors? What? The alien time. Oh, Kurt being bored. Let's get off this gas ball. Where the heck is Doc? Helium, um, so, someone did something to you, slippers. <laughs> oh, here we go again with this. <laughs> uh, sneaks up behind Hilly, puts a dripping rag on <laughs> his slipper and sneaks away. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. Uh, Not at this time. Is that the big trucker? Yep. I did not expect a big trucker to be that sneaky. <laughs> well, with the, the big truck and all of that. It... Yeah, like, I, uh, I doubt he used the truck itself to sneak behind you. Anyways, so how are you doing? To do that. <laughs> it's a dead giveaway in a sea of triple valve 12 chambered cardiopulmonary monstrosities. Cut! Cut! Unbelievable! Dr. Hawkins, where are you? I'm in orbit on board the Jim Dandy. Where are you? Outside the palace gates with Max. The Grand Emperor Zizi Baluba is inside. Doc, we've got to find a way to stop him or the Earth will never be safe. Right you are, my boy, and I've got just the thing. There, I have a fix on the palace. I'll destroy this city with one press of a button. Doctor, if you could teleport us up first. Not a problem, my Kevlar-coated friend. Just a few simple console taps and... Teleport come. Bleed? Oh my. Is that... Swanky Swizzle what Heights. Think, 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 think. I have to get Max and Kurt at the palace, so Is that... I'll need a palatial locator, a dimensional destabilizer, and one of those 
positronic doohickey things. And a phone booth. It's brilliant. It's simple. It's science. It is a TARDIS. <laughs> or at least we're going to make one, apparently. And apparently the locals don't give a crap about us. What the heck? Also, oh, why is there a bloody phone booth on... Actually, <laughs> I guess the doctor is on a visit somewhere. Possibly. But, yeah, uh, how are you, big, uh, big road trucker? <laughs> yeah, you doing well up there? Yes. I have no memories of this place at all. <laughs> Instead of where's Waldo hats. Oop, hello, big. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we'll... <laughs> I guess we'll have to find whatever the hell the doctor was talking about. But again, I have no idea where the hell those might be. Oh, almost knocked over my water bottle. Yeah, do and, do uh, that. Hmm. Okay. We have a spawner. We have some soldiers running around. And the gate that's in the way. So we'll just have to find a way around, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. All right, that was good. <laughs> okay, what the heck? Yeah, I, I'm not going to ruin the last one. Actually, I... I don't know if you know, GOG has a screenshot feature or not. So, actually, give me a second here. Yeah. I'll just show what I'm going to do here, because it's going to capture the screen anyways. Just paint.net, uh, paste, expand, and there we go. Screenshots of uh, Swank's swag saved. Oh, dear. Oh, almost before we get to this, uh, he mentioned Kevlar? Yep. So I guess uh, this suit is made out of Kevlar. It, it reminds me, uh, uh, apparently, uh, you, you know giant squids are actually real, right? Yep. Apparently, Jumbo Squid is able to bite through two layers of Kevlar. Ow. Yep. And, uh, me if he has the dark and one shot. layer of Kevlar is apparently eight times stronger than steel. Uh, that I don't... That's... I'm not too sure on. Yeah, it, 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 it's what I learned from what tops. But uh, if it's... If it's... He got the fact right. So let's take a moment to think. A Yumba Squid buys through two layers of Kevlar. Basically... Um, 16 times the strength of steel. And buys through it like it's nothing. Yeah, that would uh, that would suck for Kurt. Yeah, so his weakness will be squids. The oh, then he better one. not uh, he better not go mess up. Damn it, he better yeah, not go messing around I, in uh, Splatoon. Yeah, and that's for a Jumbo Squid. Is Fairies the bigger ones, the giant ones, are stronger? It so, looks like we're just looking yeah. around for a bunch of switches. He also talked about, like, like they, that the, even though Yain Squid has uh, Jumbo's got powerful bites, the croc spike is still stronger? Because I have, I'm gonna have to rewatch that to see if I, if I not misunderstand anything, or there's some misinformation on for. Or does it really mean that a crocodile can bite through Kevlar as well? Uh, it also has to have. You also have to keep in mind the teeth, if those are sharp enough or not. Yeah, the way this case we want like uh, breaking it over from just sheer force. Do I think it's that easier for a squid since, well, giant parrot beak made for flesh, yep. but made to eat flesh. I mean. Hmm. 
Uh, it looks like we're, we're just looking around for a bunch of switches, so this could take a bit of time. Oh, wait, wait, I found one. I found one. The, the fuck? What the? Uh, what was that? I think we just got hit with a, a paint gun. You got hit by a worm armed with a paint gun. Yes, it was me it was metallic. Uh, so, some sort of prank robot or something. Uh, um. <laughs> the hell? Ilya, I don't think it shot you with a paint gun. Here's another one of these. The complete I mean, dead end. trying to... Gas you with burps. Yeah. But yeah, I found a switch. Uh, <laughs> switch? Okay, this time he did not appear. No, he, he appeared behind us. Yeah, but it sort of feel like he appeared every time I said switch. <laughs> See? <laughs> 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 I have a switch in my shell affair. Okay. I... Yeah, we can't really jump over those. So we just have to be careful with our timing on it is everything. Okay. The... Wait. Tires with Kevlar? Okay, now I'm curious why they tried tires on your uh, Kevlar on your tires. Let's see, Kevlar, like all materials, is better at some things, worse at others. Kevlar is good for impact resistance because that's why it's made a, into bulletproof vests and such. Uh, but I think punctures. Uh, I actually had performance tires once with Kevlar integrated in them. And I know there are puncture, or, or at least stabbing, resistant vests that you can get as well. I don't know if those are the same with... Oh, hello, we found the other side. Uh, probably not the same, for they are... Well, for what I remember of the nice resistant uh, vest is they are port mail and port other things. I just forgot what the other things were. Okay! Okay, that makes sense. I, I guess I thought it would mean... Uh, hmm... Wait, no, only... Only is it only police would deploy those spiked road mats to puncture tires? That's the first part now, where are the other two? I guess there's plenty of other things that could puncture a tire on a road. Uh, yeah, as someone who has had plenty of uh, flat tires on their... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, bulletproof vests, or bullet resistant, more, more accurately, uh, are, <clears throat> are made with Kevlar. What the stabbing ones are made with, I have no clue. But I did say it's partially chain mail and other things. And again, I forgot what the other things in that material uh, layering was. Yeah, it could be at least some of it that could be Kevlar. But yeah, we're here to complete this game, not to keep... Ooh, the hell are we now? Yeah, this we, is we apparently, apparently do know there's at least some Kevlar in Kurt's armor. Yeah, I'm guessing it's the, you know, most of what it, what it's. Yep. Okay, that one went somewhere. And yeah, there's probably at least a layer of it in there. More baguettes. She bought some baguettes uh, this morning. I didn't. There's another one. Yeah, we really should go after the spawners first. There we go. And then there's a flyer. Okay, there's more <laughs> multiple flyers. Uh, let's hope that we can just dodge them. 
Okay, uh, why does it need to depixelate now? Let's see here. Yeah, I can't read what the trucker is writing now due to... He wanted me to get pixelated for some reason now. No, oh, wait, I think I can read something now. No. Shame mail would be great for stabbing resistance, but Kevlar does some... Uh, does have some resistance. Okay. Oh. Yeah, maybe combining the two in a layered armor would really work? Now, I know that some body armors in the military these days use ceramic plates. And that's a nope on Wait, this end. Wait, what Kevlar is? No, ceramic or... plates as in like... Uh, pod, uh, no, not, not as like pottery, but similar. Uh, that freaking way to go. You mean like ceramic knives? Uh, yeah, but uh, thicker. Okay, okay, now I get ya. And I, I when should... I speak of that, I'm, I mean like uh, a, like a lot of plates, not like only a few or something, but like dozens. Because I, if I one of those plates would shatter, out. then the entire area there would lose cohesion. All right, yeah, I, I definitely gonna need to cool. look this up at some point. Uh, I'm very curious now. So I'm guessing a. Pumper nickel is some sort of bread. It's bread. I yes, and I think I... yep. This is the way. What is a nickel? Yeah, it's it's called a pumper nickel, apparently. That's... Hmm. Let's see what that does in combat. So first, we have to figure out what the... I'm not going to use that against a single enemy. Wait. In the fifth... Okay, Helen, you need to read this up. Uh, you can. Let's see. I worked for Canoe Livery in the mid-90s, and the owner was putting Kevlar on the bow and stern keel, where the highest wear was happening. Okay, and... Wait, 90s? I, oh, I misread that. I, I thought you said 50s. Oh, I see what's going on here. It's a game of lemmings. And then we keep on this, so... <laughs> no. Okay. I think you're meant to trick him into the blender. I guess. Hmm. So we have to we have to wait until he hits the wall there, otherwise he's leaving. Yeah. And I'm surprised that Kevlar is used for all of this. I thought it was mostly used for the military. Yep, yeah, too late, he's leaving. I should have moved over lots earlier. Ceramic plates are better for higher caliber and heavier rounds, but they can only handle a couple of hits before the whole plate is basically trash. Yeah. Okay. So we are a bit far away from the return of a knightly armor. <laughs> yeah. Though I would be in curious what, uh, how plate armor mixed with chainmail would be like. It's a thing. Normally they have, they used to put the chainmail oh. where the plate did not cover. Ow. But there were some cases where they, those that could afford it, put plate armor, oh, like first cambrison, then chainmail, then plate armor. But it was one problem with that uh, tactic. Like, Why did he sure, turn? you were extra protected. Especially from uh, when someone successfully pierced the plate. However, you wait, it waits so much more. Yeah. <laughs> so the only people who've done it are those that, can, first of all, can afford it. And secondly, are strong enough to handle it. 
Why did he turn around there? So, Kevlar is bad for lower caliber and more rounds taken. Alright. One more. Uh, Why we yes, need to it is correct, that? correct uh, that trucker. Just normally it was just plate armor with chainmail on the weak points, like armpits. But as I said, some knights did wear chainmail under the plate armor as well. But again, mostly the very strong ones did that due to the expensiveness and the weight. There we go. Uh, one part or smoothie later. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot your police department does have Kelo West. Okay. No comments. And yeah, nothing wrong with your little romance. Yeah, okay. Take out this thing first. There we go. Now let's go see what the hell this thing does. A grenade? Yeah, that, <laughs> I guess it worked like a grenade or a mortar. Oop. Yeah, mortar. Okay. Hmm. And yeah, I'm only worried. Yeah. Okay, miss. No. It. Wait. Okay. It's something happened. It, it's, it looked like it deflected it at first and threw it away another direction. Uh oh. No, so he just he just shoves the baguette in their hole. How big is the toaster to handle that? <laughs> I, I feel like in most toasters, if you do that with a baguette, you end up breaking the toaster. Yeah. Or end up uh, with a fire. Actually, most likely fire. And a partially burnt and most, for the rest, untoasted <laughs> baguette. Yeah. Okay, truck is right to something again. Uh, Kevlar vest is basically most common body armor with ceramic or steel plate, interchangeable. Modern body armor would be more combat-focused body armor. Okay. And ah, this is right. active. How do we activate it then? Hmm. Let's see, is there anything we need to do here? We fought off all the enemies. I haven't seen any switches or something. Hmm. And okay, just checking the time. We still have an hour. So depending on how long this is going to take, we should be able to finish the game or Hmm. Is there something with those power lines or something? Maybe, wait, where did the... from that you came here from? No, we came from the upper side. So maybe there are clues, after all. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't remember a thing about this level. Hmm. Could it be that I skipped over it with cheats or something? Or actually... This looks a bit like a switch, doesn't it? First time we've had a switch like that, but okay. What? Okay, that first... I heard that sound before, but I never heard that sound happen... Actually, yeah, I only heard that sound happen in very old kids' game. And movies and see in ca uh, cartoons. I don't think it's the first time that we've had it play here as well. Yeah. First time I noticed it probably. But it, that sounds feels very out of place with this game. Okay, what is going to be the trick here? 
I, I hope these guys aren't just going to infinitely spawn. See, so SWAT will get the plate variant. Oh, yes, and SWAT gets the heavy stuff. Yep. It is. The acronym does stand for Special Weapons and Tactics, after all. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was something airless, but that makes sense. Okay, there haven't been any respawns yet, so I don't think there will be. Hmm. There's something going on with this. Yeah, okay, we need to yeah, we need to stop the lights on the blue lamps. Okay, this They're is a stopped. slow one. And oh, no, that is just there we go. Oh now you see what you're doing. Yep. That one was going back and forth rather slowly. Okay, let's see. Big trucker. Okay, okay. This is what Big Truck is saying here. Both can be acquired by the public in the USA, but Kevlar is the most common and depending on protection level can be worn under top shot with little change to appearance. When police need to get serious, it's what that they bring in. Yeah, and All right. here's object number two. Yeah, a small piece of the puzzle is left. And when I find it, those aliens will be very sorry. <laughs> uh, I really need to go play through this game again just to get all of the sound bites out of it. Oh dear. The question is... Can SWAT handle Vikings? <laughs> yeah, depending Probably on how not. many. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's and yes, people, there was a joke. Places. Okay, we went that way. And also, just how tall these little guys are. Little. <laughs> the other ones are even bigger. The other aliens are... Yeah. The other aliens are bigger, even. I kind of... Concerned. Won't this area smell bad? Probably, but... Well, speaking from experience from working with chemicals, there's a good chance that uh, the doctor's uh, sense of smell is as dead as a doornail. Let's see. You generally ride in armored trucks to APCs depending on department budgets. Yep. And, hmm. Yeah, I, I still have no idea what the hell a pumper nickel is, but apparently it's a type of bread. Wait, I think it's the bread that's... R it's those that's a pumper nickels. The big round one. Yep. I didn't know that. I, 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 I eaten then some possibly. Yeah, there are there are round breads like similar to that that I've uh, that I've eaten, but I'm pretty sure they weren't called pumpernickels. Actually, uh, it, it might be um, pumpernickel might be the English name for it. Oh, we've got a faulty light bridge to deal with. Let's do a quick look. Let's see here. From the uh, big trucker, they show up with full automatic weapons, stun grenades, etc. Alright. Pumpernickel, bread. Oh, this. Uh... Oh, dear. Uh, what I I've seen this, I know it, but I forget what it's called in Dutch. Uh, let's see. Dutch. But, uh, we call it Roggebrood. And that's in R O G G E. It made it sound like you said. Uh... You spoke in Swedish almost with a heavy dialect. You were trying to say rock bread. Uh, no. 
It isn't like it isn't a bad type of bread, but I don't eat it regularly. We mo most of the time I've seen it, uh, and I most of the times that I've seen it be eaten and have eaten it myself is uh, when again I hmm I know it's I know it becomes not really in or oh, oh, okay I had a feeling that the gap was behind us there. Um, It, it is often, it's often eaten with uh, uncooked bacon, I believe. How many of those shots were missing there by an inch? Uncooked bacon, or in some some sort of cold meat, at least. And typically, it gets uh, also used with uh, with pea soup. Pea raw meat. Are you okay? Wrong button. Yeah. Hmm. Like, again, I haven't... Uh, wrong. I haven't eaten it. I don't eat it on the regular, at least. I, I might see if I can try that bread sometime, but I'm damn curious. But I've still forever be mentally imagining you eating uh, hard rock bread. <laughs> yeah, it, it isn't hard, or at least in the slices that it's typically served in, it's not uh, too hard. And yeah, just to avoid the running back and forth, just doing the quick save, because really there's more and more of these eats. And there's more of those brain spitters up ahead. Uh. Wait, it is? <laughs> All the ones. Prop rock bread? Is, I... uh, hmm. is uh, Big Road Trucker trying to use a Swedish letter there? Uh, Pumpernickel bread? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Uh, bread. Uh, the, uh, what should we call it that? Uh, the pump nickel bread. I'm sure you've seen that. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna have to look that up on, on first day when I go to the grocery shop again. Hey, there. Up rock bread yet. <laughs> yep, gotta go get to work. Okay, good luck. Be safe there. Big road trucker, almost an ice road trucker. <laughs> okay, Google Translate. All right, I guess we be using that word as well then. Then we do use some English word for some things. <laughs> like, when you talk about a regular rock, you say stem. But when you talk about music, then we say rock. Yeah, that's basic stuff. <laughs> And uh, by the way, the Dutch word for bread is brood, as in B R O O D, without the uh, marks on top of the O. B R O O D. Yep. Brood? Yep. Oh, I can see some English fools if we're in the Netherlands are getting very concerned. Yeah. Puts a bit of a different spin on the brood wars, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bread wars. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, you always miss something here. Oh, what was it now? Oh, I hope I could remember it now. I really hope it were. Well. All oh, right. Uh, dude to O is deaf, right? In Dutch? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but heard of the, about the Disgaea games, right? Uh, yeah, the penguins. Prayed. Uh, yeah, ever since I learned, dude, it means death in touch. I cannot stop imagining every damn penguin being a death obsessed Dutchman. Well, they are dead. They've well, yeah, uh, they are literally they human sinners forced into penguin suits, forced to serve as, as servants until 
they can pay off the sins. Yeah. yeah I, I but, think it was more penguin bodies than suits, but it, oh well. Oh, they, they oh, are suits. On. It's an entire game about it, basically. I for, I forget what they're called. I I think it's with a it starts with a P or something. Prinny. Prinny, yeah, Prinnies. I, I have some of the games. I, I did say Prinny, dude. <laughs> oh, I love the bastards. Yeah, Prinny sounds like some sort of <laughs> some sort of chips brand or something. And it looks like we have to get. Whatever we need to do here, done once we're being shot at. I mean, don't be surprised if there's some preemies slavering in a ship factory. And yes, and these preemies have it hard. But then again, they are souls of human sinners forced into servitude as a preemie until they can pay off their debt. And when they pay off their debt, they are allowed to reconnect back into human again. Okay, what is the deal here? None of these are responding. I'm not seeing a reset button or anything. Oh gosh, yes, remember, in one of the games, there are so many human seamers that they have a bit of, of a preemie suit sorted, so there was one guy that just put a preemie hat on. <laughs> and he's one of the main characters. Okay, I... oh, there's the reset button. Oh, no, that's the start button. Okay, so we have to get the right choice. Out of three each time. Oh, dear. The quick bit of... Damn it! <laughs> The wrong button. Okay. Uh, okay, at least we know the combination for the first part. Let's see. Right, mid, mid. Right, mid, mid. Right, mid, mid. Right, mid, mid. Oh, it's... Damn it. The code resets on each. Wait. If that's the... Oh, this is, a, this is an absolute bastard of a puzzle, then if it's the... If it's an absolute gamble on each one. We have damn it. <laughs> Again, the... Wait, now... Okay. Did it or did it not reset or something? Nope. Okay. I think it was... Okay. Oh, also... Dear. Fuck you, and fuck you. Quick save. Nope. Yes. So th this is basically a puzzle where you're, damn it, forced to use the quick save to get through. Okay, th this is a bad puzzle. What is there is some hint that we are missing? Oh, wait. Those lit up for a second there. Something like this. No. That one. This one. There we go. Okay, it looked like the the things in the ceiling lit up for a second, about it for about a second when I we stepped on the button. It could be that they stay on longer if you don't go off of it immediately, but that's what it you know, that's what happened there, I believe. And we've got the last bit. So let's go make ourselves a TARDIS. <laughs> and these hallways are. Too long for this. They could have just had the teleporter send us back to the starting area immediately. 
That's the theater wonder why is there a long corridor to this teleporter? Yeah, it should be uh, disguising a loading screen. Hello. Or just make it tricky for an anyone getting to the teleporter. Like as a some way of preventing intruders. Have yeah, fun in there, guys. Okay, we're going to need to launch every one of them out. <laughs> Grenade. <laughs> yeah, the, the things are respawning. <laughs> okay, open up. And there we go. Trying out each other's stuff. <laughs> and so yeah, that, that is the sniper as well. Don't just stand there, boys. We've got work to do. <laughs> That's the emperor. From now on, we've got to use our heads. A few snazzy gizmos and we are home free. Doc, I'd rather get in and out before we're even noticed. I'm tired of being subtle. Let's put this sissy down. Heal Max. We don't want to go in barking mad. It wouldn't be safe. <laughs> Safer than most of your inventions. <laughs> Can't argue that. Huh. Short-sighted buffoons. Oh, that's it. Bring it on, Fuzzy! I have had it with both of you! Is this the end of our xenophobic trio? Will Zizzy the alien emperor go undefeated? Who do you think is right for the job? Make the choice. Idi Meridius Colos. Skill and A loopy professor! <laughs> Skill, brute force, and firepower. Well, which of them should we take? And I should have put down a save. I think Kurt, for some of his victims. Do I still. That, that's quite an accusation to throw at the main character who's called the xenophobic. Like, that's harsh. And serious. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Are these anything? Also, let's see. Load. Okay, the quick save is still there. It could be. Hmm. And the other save is at the start yet. <laughs> That's quite a bit of a pose. Uh, we could use the quick save. Actually, hmm. Yeah. Let's hit the quick save quickly. Then we do. And was it this one? Yep. Then we just head for the, the the starting area, blow out the first two of the little bastards, and on the third one we put down a save so that we can go back there easily and get to the, the last level. <clears throat> I don't wanna, so we it, can it, also show the uh, other, how the others take on the, the Emperor. Yeah, I kind of wonder, is Kurt the main character, main hero or something? Uh, or is all three? Uh, all three in this one. Uh, Kurt is the only playable character in the first MDK. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it then would make sense to do the first time with Kurt. Yeah. These little snotlings again. Are they even in there? I don't know. Don't want to guess either. I don't think those are snotlings, but this is not Warhammer. <laughs> Well, they are. When they are attacking, they are just spitting snot at us. Ugh. You know what? You, you know what a snotling is in Warhammer, right? Yeah, it's the basically the goblins. Uh, okay. No. 
gonna even blow that first. Yeah. Anyways, dark three. Uh, the snowflakes are. They look like goblins, just way, way smaller. Yep, yeah, and we can like, actually get hurt by our use. I think, I think a snowflake would reach either to your knee or halfway to your knee. There we go. And they are, they are basically bullied by goblins, usually. Now then. But orcs keeps them as pets. Sniper scope. Gatling guns akimbo. A mild-mannered janitor. <laughs> Gatling guns akimbo. Skill. Gatling skill. A robotic six-legged dog. <laughs> skill <laughs> and step brute force. Skill. Gatling gun skill. A loopy professor. Skill and gimmicks and gadgetry. Sniper scope. A loopy professor, a mild gimmicks and gadgets, a loopy sk atomic toast. <laughs> okay. A mild mannered janitor. Let's go with the janitor and <laughs> clean up this mess. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, I, I really hope they eventually someday manage to make an MDK3. And managed to get the same style and humor going. Yeah. Oh. Mm. I feel like they should do do remaster something with the two first games properly, then yeah. release the third game. Oh. It would certainly, it would probably give them the, uh, well, I would say it would give them the, uh, it would give them a good amount of funds to make a third game, but uh, with the bad taste that the HD version of this game left, I'm not too sure if people would even buy it if there was a remake. It depends who, uh, remake. who who made it for. I think there's a company called Bluepoint. Well, getting a very good reputation of doing good remakes. Oh, that's a fucking Actually, bunch of them. Actually, I think the most more they've been famous for doing extremely good remakes that are not right. only faithful to original, but also way more polished. And, uh, Night Dive has been making re-releases. Uh, maybe they could do MDK2 or something. Uh, those guys sound good as well. I'll have to look up some of their work. Uh, could yeah, you link so... one of those in the Discord? Oh, sure. Uh, wait. Ain't Night Dive the people former THQ? I don't know. They're the Deep Rock Galactic guys. Uh, uh, I know there's a Swedish company that is uh, buying up a lot of game companies to remake the old ones. Damn the it, people want the like, uh, new Legacy of Cain, um, just to name a few uh, example. And oh! I almost forgot. I forgot if I told you this bust. Dark side of four is in the works. Oh, that is that, yeah, we're going to be doing that. And, and uh, I, don't think been, I don't think there is word yet of a new legacy of Kane, but there is speculation since uh Crystal oh. Dynamics bought the IP back from uh I have Square Enix, I, yeah, they brought it back from Square Enix, along with other things. Oh yeah, they, they own the new, that Swedish company, I only know, I won't call it a Swedish company, if I, I forgot their name, I don't know they are located in Sweden. Okay. Because I'm going join them, for they, this is a group that are former TSQ, I think, well, by a lot of these older uh, game companies that's been you know, been all not been used properly, and they have made a lot of promises on uh, Legacy of Kane, Deus Ex Machina, and a few other games to return. Uh, I think you mean properly. Deus Ex. Because <laughs> uh, I don't know the series of Deus Ex Machina. I think I heard something like that, but yeah, it's a game not to watch really, but yeah. I, I, I had to look that up some time, but I know there's a company out there trying to release a lot of games people wanted to return. And Legacy of okay. Kane is one of them. 
Uh, speaking of returns, uh, I learned recently that uh, a certain uh, limbless hero is making a return as well, though not in a full game of their own, though. Uh, from him? Nope. Uh, Rayman is uh, has been announced as a DLC character for the new Rabbits plus Mario games. Or game, good, not games. So if you really have, have an actual story cats. or not, yeah, I'm a bit split on it as well because yeah, I, I just want a new, I want new Rayman games, damn it, and I don't want those dumb rabbits. Though I have heard that the first of those games was very good. I have not haven't played them myself. But basically, the they, they, they're basically a XCOM for kids. Oh yeah, that. Uh, I, I just can't stand it. Like, I, I remember seeing the commercials for them. I, I easily did not like them. Like, I didn't react to the design. The design was just fine, but... Bloody heck, they quickly annoyed me. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I dislike them mostly for pushing Rayman out of... Uh, taking over Rayman's spotlight. Wait, hmm. they are from Rayman games? Yep. Originally, they were supposed to be enemies to Rayman, but someone decided to remake them as uh, remake the entire thing as a party game with the rabbits instead of well, with Rayman still, but with the rabbits taking most of the front stage. Oh. But yeah, if if that DLC sells well and it could help get back to Rayman games. Then I'd be all up for that. All up for that. Yeah, yeah don't put better. Apparently, Ubisoft are in hot waters. Yeah. Uh, maybe Michael Ansel can go solo with it or something, or go indie with uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2 and further Rayman games. Also, um, what the heck? You know what? I, I, I know you ask, but I don't want to see it again. <laughs> but I do know no? I need a glass of water, but I'm first there again. And that's for the dock, actually. They Each of the characters takes a different route, I believe, but it is mostly the same level. Also, uh, I wouldn't dis really describe Kurt's method as a stealth since he still just guns down practically anything he comes across. <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks bits like this where the where the wall doesn't fully meet when there's lighting on it there it is actually pretty nice? And that can yeah it can be nice. I can still see you so uh. So, it does look like a annoying way, to, uh, just annoying thing to clean. Oh. <laughs> Max, Dr. Kurt! I can't believe it took you this long to get here! <laughs> Mildly amusing and often boring! Are you implying that our hardship has been for your entertainment? <laughs> oh boy, I had to let you in a few, just to keep it interesting! <laughs> yeah, sure. You let us win. Of course, of course. You see, after one figures out space and time, there isn't much left to fill the void but entertainment. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd sit here bored in my bored warm. <laughs> you invaded Earth for your own amusement? You pompous sea monkey! Mild amusement. Don't start getting an ego. But the game is over. Thanks for playing. <laughs> what, what about, about us? us? It's over. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, that's what you think. Ooh. Ah! And here we go. The Emperor Ziggy Baluba. Yeah, at, 
you could say at the very least that his uh, reason for the invasion is actually different than you see in most games. Yeah, uh, what's that? Joe, what the? Ah! I don't think he's going to go away just from you shooing him. No, not him, a damn bug. <laughs> oh. I, I think there was a tiny moth or something that flew near me. <laughs> Oh. oh. One of the nets got loose. Okay. A piece of... I don't even... I don't think you even know what those are. Really? Are you... Yep. Immature. <laughs> uh... Come on, that's... A stock footage that I've not heard in years. Okay, so we can hypnotize us if we get too close. It's at least it doesn't screw with our controls, but it does fully screw with, the, with how we're seeing everything. Yeah, in fact, people, that sound is a, was a very popular sound for hypnotizing in very old cartoons. Yep, the swirls and all. And, uh, welcome to his insides. If I remember correctly, we need to screw around in here. So, uh, why not throw some grenades down whatever tubes these are? Actually, didn't expect that one to land. In the meantime, we have these things nibbling at our feet. There we go. And he spits us back out. Yeah, Z Ziggy is... Or was it... Zizzy, Zizzy was it. <laughs> Not Ziggy. Ziggy is uh, one of the Koopalings, I believe. <laughs> These shields again, out. Uh, damn it. Might have been able to dodge that one, but there's a new gun over there. Nope, 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 nope. Not falling for that one again. Nope. Oh, Max is actually helping along, it's from the sounds of it. Where the hell did you go? I saw you at the start. Wait, I just got the edge of it. Okay, we still good on health. Now oh, there's Max. And here we go again. So, I don't really know why he would want us in here. Because, yeah. Okay. Uh... Did you just make him heartless? Yep. You know, there's a good... You could make a good... Uh... Argument that he already was. I, I think we have to destroy his lungs as well. Okay, this is, it is time for when we get spat out. He's losing health there from that. Yep. Yeah, we are freaking tearing up his insides. Damn it. Nope. This at least gives us time to look around for other pickups that might have respawned. Looks like that Peach at the very least respawns. Uh, 
There we go. Okay. Is it the lungs? Oh, hello. Oh, that immediately lost us out. Okay, avoid that. And it still took down some of his health. And oh, there's livestock. Max still just taking the yeah, pot shots. There we go. Seems that once he makes that noise, that he start gives up on trying to hypnotize us. I'm I'm mostly avoiding it. I'm mostly avoiding it because this might make people sick. Then again, there's a good chance argument to be made that getting launched inside this guy would also make people sick. Yeah, it looks like he has a ventilation shaft in his spine. Uh, I need, we need to go up somehow. Because we can't get an angle at anything up there. Do we even Wait, need to... what about those bulbs on the walls? Those are shooting. Oh. Hmm. No, there's no updraft. Do we need to chuck in a grenade or something for that? Hmm. What if we land in one of the side ones? We also just get injected. Okay, yeah, we need to use the sniper mode. Yeah, but what it's we getting need to less get... and less health each time you do that. Right, I think we still need to destroy some important bits still. You know, yeah, besides but... the heart. Yeah, but still, you seem to all do with some progress. What the? It seems we need to upgrade update our links to Discord? Hmm? Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank, you, thank you for that, Valak. Hmm. Yeah, I'll need to double check that. I, I should have used. I'm pretty sure I used a permanent up, uh, link for that. Miss. There we go. Yeah, that's one lung gone. And, and that one actually bounced back in. Uh, oh, says you're not sure light was important to old address for your uh, Twitch. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. Uh, the, he's speaking. He's speaking. Uh, I, oh, there, uh, these are active now. Uh, he's talking about uh, the support of creators. I probably should put. Because we're right on my. That, ow. Uh, the group called Supportive Creators. Uh, and yeah, I, I must have forgotten to upgrade. Uh, uh, damn it. Those things are freaking homing. <laughs> and out we go. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get to updating that this after the stream here, since we still need to deal with this alien bastard. Uh, um, I might need a reminder on how to do it, because I forgot how I set that up. In the first place. Okay. We've destroyed the lungs, we've destroyed the hearts. The brain? But at the very least, the eyes. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to notice these being gone. Oh, they're alive on their own. Okay, <laughs> totally not creepy as all fuck. Oh, damn it. Okay, are we... I hope that they some health respawns. Because we are needing it. <laughs> okay, deal with this eye. No, 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 no. Okay, good timing. <laughs> Literally one health. 
Uh, do we even have a save or something to send us back to here? Oh, luckily it's a help. It's a ham this time. Ooh, got a new follower. Yep. Did, uh, did the animation show up this time? Yep. Valika Kati. Valika Valikvakutis. Valikvakutis. That one, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Valik. Uh, yeah, yeah say... I'm guessing the I'm guessing the if the announcement or the, the sound just gets drowned out by the game here. For me, yeah, at least. He, he said he can't hear you due to ce cellular phone issues. Uh, okay. But he, he, he wanted you to. Hello. Yeah, he just wanted you to know about the issue. Okay. I'll double check after the stream for stuff. And really, we can't even shoot these damn little things. And. Come on. And that immediately ejects us again. Yep. Luckily, with some more health. Wait, what? Was that the dog teleporting away? Still contact damage. Okay, there we go. Uh, there's one of those activation orbs floating around his brain. So let's go take a shot at that before those stupid things knock us down again. Yep, yeah, yeah, you could see it. Yeah. No, there's multiple. No, wrong. Oh, those are supposed to be electrons for his brain. Yes. Okay. The shaking isn't helping. These things especially is not as well. Damn it. Yeah, they, there's just no dodging those stupid things. Uh, this might take a bit. Yeah, that, 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 this. Have some loud dogs. Oh, there's the dog. Uh, right, I was gonna say that feels a little bit of a bullshit move for the developers. Yes. To do for a boss fight. Uh, uh, come on, just. Yeah, I was going to grab that. Well, that means that those swirling things are not his eyes. Those are glasses or something. Or goggles. Come on, get up, yeah. Kirk, before these stupid I, things I come. I that out early on. There's still showing on the inside, though. I think that he may have the, the devil thing as a visor stuck to his face. Come to... And we're going to get ejected. Yeah, the... Those Pac-Man things are just bullshit. Okay, that's him yeah, trying to hypnotize. I, it, it is an interesting boss fight, but... Yeah, they should have fought on some aspects of it Wait. a little bit more. He was actually taking shots at the doctor there? That's a first. Okay, come on, quickly. At the very least, we didn't get ejected. Yeah, even when I'm shooting towards... Wait. I think they did go down or get killed there. Oh, no, they... They, they die if they run into something. And there's three of these things actually going around. Yeah. Wait, I wouldn't have noticed that. I only noticed two. Okay, so we can dodge those things by just moving away. As long as they crash into something. Okay, uh... That also works. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh! Oh, fade to black! Melodramatic much? <laughs> Yes, it's all over. Yeah, I'm glad it's over. And book ends. With the fall of Zizi Baluba, so fell the alien empire and all the evil plans they had wrought. Kurt Hectic would return to Earth on the shoulders of his fellows, raised high as the hero that he was. The attention was all that Kurt had dreamed, and worse. Everyone wanted a piece of the man who had saved the day. There were endless offers, and all was the same question. What is next for you and your heroic crew? In the end, Kurt returned to his work, avoiding the spotlight, and leaving history to record him favorably. Kurt Hectic. A simple man, glad to have helped, but thankful that everything is back to normal, or as normal as it can be. Wherever you are, Kurt Hectic, we salute you. Yeah, yeah each of them has a different little ending like that. Uh, we have 15 minutes. Um, shall we try and take him on as Max as well? Actually, we'd have to go through the entire level again, so maybe... Hmm. We could extend the stream, but I don't know how long it might take us to get through this level as the Doctor, which that is going to be a big choke point, because... His and Max's tend to take the longest, I think. Hmm. It is tempting, but yeah, it's just we don't know how long it may take. It's a bit of a gamble. And as we speak just now, we have less than 50 minutes now. Yeah. And there's a Dutch name among the animators. No. Maybe it'd be, maybe it'd be easier if we, uh, actually, yeah, I, I don't think we'd really need to show the boss fight being different because you can guess how it would go. Uh, Max just shoots everything in sight. Uh, the <clears throat> the dog does have to use hide to be able to destroy his uh, in <laughs> his innards, and the only thing that would be different from that would be the. Uh, would be the ending. So actually, uh, that what the voices three dead trolls in a baggie, Westborg and Joe Bird, Atomic Improv, Paul Matter and Donovan Worken, Subatomic Humor, Tom, and Greg Zutzen. Yeah, th this is just something that annoys me with older games that they don't uh, say who voices who. But yeah, the, actually, I what we I think yeah, what we can do since the game is the OBS is on screen capture now at the moment, anyways, is that we just go to YouTube and uh, look up a video on the different endings. I would say yes that you can always get the different endings and glue it to this one. Yeah, uh, but that wouldn't be fair to the people watching the stream, if any, because I see that little thing on the one, but. Some people, you know, I think that's more counts the amount of viewers with an account who are watching. So for all we know, there could be 500 people without an account watching, as unlikely as that is. Oh dear. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I think that's just what we'll do once the credits roll over. And then I'll go fix the uh, the thing with uh, <laughs> that Valak brought up. Yeah, do. Is that allowed? Mm, if you give credit, I think it uh, technically. And uh, yeah, Jasper Kid brought the music of this. <laughs> I'll definitely be looking up what else they did besides Assassin's Creed and Hitman. 
Just to make double sure, I'm going to make a bloody note about that. Uh, a bloody boat? Alright. No. <laughs> no, it's just Jasper Kide, Jas Jasper Kid, however you would pronounce that. And yeah, I'll just stop the timer. Uh, what? Some of them is Frank Sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or I'm uh, not pronouncing that right even. Okay. Thanks to Interplay US, Brian Fargo, Cal Morrell, Jim Molitor, Todd Morgan, and Steve Schub, Fergus uh, Burkhardt, and Monica Vallejo, Interplay UK, the fine folks at Sega. Why Sega? Or, wait, Sega Dreamcast, wasn't it? I, I think, because I'm pretty sure yeah, this game also well, released uh, on Sega. I'm glad it's over. Yes, if there's one thing it is, it's over. Yes, it's all over. Yes, invasion thwarted over. It certainly is, as they say, over. Kurt, what is it? Over. That's right. It is truly over. You know, I can't help but think, Doctor, that I think the large adventure we just had is now over. Yes, you've just spent $60 for a video game that ended a long time ago. Fool. Sucker. This message brought to you by Bioware. Uh, from what I hear, uh -huh. Bioware were big fans of the original MDK. Uh. Uh, and I am glad uh, for their contribution to the franchise. Yeah, this is, was a madness done right. Yeah. Okay, then. Exit. And let me bring up YouTube real quick. Uh, let me let me hide this for a moment so that nothing inappropriate or anything I'm not wanting to, willing to show shows up. Uh, let's see. That was there. There. Okay, there we go. Hide right, that. There we go. MDK2 ending. Oh, there's Easter eggs. Might as well take a look at that as well. And okay, let's see. All bosses. That's in the HD version. That might be. Hmm. Actually, let me bring this up for a moment so we can have a look at the different models as well. Let's see. Is there any of these that are not too flashing? Hmm. Let's see. At the start here of the Ziggy fight, that would be a good point to show off the HD models of the characters. Uh, let me mute this for a moment so I can let it play instead of having to skip, uh, zip through and back and forth. There we go. That's a good shot. Okay. Turning this back on. This these are the HD models, as you can see, of the Doc, Kurt, and uh, <laughs> Max. And yeah. Especially I see notice. What you mean. Especially notice how they stick out like freaking sore thumbs compared to the background and everything yeah. else around them. Yeah, no, wait, look at the background. Some of the background is HD, but the other part of the background is not. Yeah. And also, uh, Zizzy didn't get an upgrade. Yeah, I know that as well. So oh, dear. you can see again why I did it. It, it just feels completely incomplete. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, uh, just for the, uh, safety's sake, this is from Go Global Gaming, this footage here. And now let's take a look at the ending as recorded by a Agar Group. Oh, that is really, nope, nope, not that all there. Uh, let's see. I don't understand why some people just recorded 
from a TV like that. Okay, Maxis ending. Let's go all the way back. This is by RPG Delarge. There we go. Looks like they were recording it from in the original uh, size. Let's go seven. Uh, hmm? What? They recorded this for a screen. I'm There's a reflection of a door. Uh, I think that's the door in the background. Though honored to serve humanity, he found the usual pat on the head to be an exceptionally unfulfilling reward. Max the hero could not return to servitude. He needed a fresh start. And where better than the conquered Swizzle Firma to carve his future? So began the reign of Max. His firm leadership built a strong and disciplined empire. One that the Earth welcomed as ally and partner. As Max said, it was in everyone's best interests. Humanity's best friend to the end. Good dog, Max. Good dog indeed. Okay, did not expect that. Okay, and then... Again, there was uh, RPG De Large. This is footage. And uh, now someone... Um, okay, the, this one should cover the... Let's see. That's the ending. That's the credits. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we, we, as the doctor, you'd have the hardest time maneuvering around inside his insides. Okay, high quality. This is from One Doomed Angelo. Yeah, I'm glad it's over. Hmm. <laughs> always knew that no alien brawn could match his brains but it was his victory over Zizi Buluba that finally proved it to the rest of the world he would return home vindicated finally celebrated as one of the greatest minds of this or any other time the earth's brightest sun would be shunned no more and now with the respect and admiration of all his peers Dr. Hawkins can finally return to his first love Atomic Robot Zombie Men! Good luck, Doctor. We wish you well. Yeah. <laughs> he is still bloody insane. So, thank you again, Doomed, you know, One Doomed Angel, for the footage. And uh, RPG The Large as well. And uh, with that, we can put a... We can tie a knot into MDK2. Uh. It has been a ride. That, yeah, it, it is. It's been it, a fun story. It, it, is a, it, it is. It is a great game. It is still one of my favorites, and it has been far too long since I played through it. The the doctor's yeah. levels are a bit less, if you ask me, but they do make for a bit, good palate cleanser. Yeah, like it, it's just a pity we had some struggles to make it work on occasion. True, but Even we got around already it. already back on Something Sunday. And, uh, yeah, with MDK 2 done, that means that next time we can move on to Rayman 3, Hoodlum Havoc. Uh, Hoodlum Havoc. Yep. And you'll see why that title, or subtitle, uh, when we get to that, which, uh, let me double check, when is my schedule? I should, I have... Mm, I have three work days coming up, one late and two night shifts. So I won't be able to stream on e well, I won't be able to stream tomorrow at least at the and not at least at the usual time and not at the early time either. But on the two on the night shift days, I should be able to stream early in, uh, early like in the afternoon. Uh, but if we if I can or if I should I. We'll have to check because yeah, night shifts you you should take a good sleep before you start with that. Yeah, like I, I would not be surprised if next stream day won't be until Friday. 
yeah, could be. Um, either way, though, be it in two days or once I have a free day again, uh, all the same. Uh, thank you, anyone who has been watching. I'm not too early with that. We still need to go look for someone to stream. And I need to go uh, fix up... Uh... Mice! <laughs> mice! So bright! Oh, yeah. oh, oh, my eyes. Oh, you're, you're see, still seeing OBS, so you got no, flashed like... there because it went white. Yeah, no, no, I can see myself and your dumb face. Okay, let's see. Yes, I wouldn't say that because you flashed me. <laughs> let's have a look. People we know, there's uh, Varia XLP, uh, who is streaming Thief Deadly Shadows again. I took, took a look at them recently. They're pretty nice. Uh, Lil Tree is live. Uh, who they're doing an art stream it seems and Pata uh, Potatum or Tatum is online with Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh the potato. <laughs> uh, beyond them there is Nemo Neemo who is streaming Plate Up again. Uh, we have Codename Ferret or no Code Named Ferret streaming Star Sector and Old Dragon streaming uh, let's see what is that Let it is a Zelda game or okay the the title of it was too long to show so i just clicked on them and apparently they're having some issues okay they're streaming it from the switch so i'm guessing breath of the wild then um shall we go <laughs> oh well hello who, do you, who is oh hello the <laughs> halloween 4545 is streaming castlevania order of ecclesia which is the first you know, Castlevania game that I ever played. Okay. But anyways, the choice is yours. Uh, so you were leaning, leaning towards Tatum? So give little potato a, a raid. Let's play, <laughs> yeah. let's play potato farm. Okay, Tato raid then. I'll be proud of the potato cannons. Copy the name. Go to here. And start. Slash raid potato. Okay. Uh, so, but before we do that, we have people to thank. So, thank you uh, everyone for watching uh, now or later. Uh, thank you, Valak uh, Vakosities, for showing up. Uh, also, for alerting me to the the fact that I need to update the links. Uh, I should probably also put that uh, <clears throat> support of creators tags uh, into my stuff here as well. Uh, to be fair, uh, and also thank you, Big Trucker Twenty Six. I uh, hope things are going. Uh, yeah, hope things are going well on the road. And as always, thank you as well, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And uh, yeah, let's get the raid started. And next time that we'll be able to stream, we will be going for. Uh, we'll be starting the third Rayman game, Hoodlum Havoc, like we said. And then, uh, yeah, we'll have to see when we can do that. Either the day after tomorrow or Friday. Uh, we'll have to see. But for now, thank you again, everyone, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for flying squids.